And today, this very day, 20 years ago, on this day, the football gods decided to tell Thomas Edward Brady, despite you being a terrific quarterback in high school and you get to Michigan and you get to Michigan and you don't get all of the opportunities because a kid named Drew Henson, Mr. Michigan, was also on the squad. And you'll, you'll spend one year there, Thomas Brady. You'll start, you'll play a quarter, and then Henson will come in, and then you'll come back in, and then Henson will finish up or <laughs> something else like that. I saw that at Syracuse one year. Michigan at Syracuse. Yeah. You were in the Carrier Dome I that was, day, too. I was, I was there with my future brother-in-law. Screaming at Drew Henson because I didn't know who Tom Brady was. Okay. <laughs> and then Brady sets like Orange Bowl records in his last game as a University of Michigan quarterback. If I'm not mistaken, I think he beat Sexy Rexy. You, you look up that Orange Bowl? I might be wrong. might be right. I don't know. I don't know if that really matches up. The 2000 Orange Bowl? Look it up, Christopher. 2000 Orange Bowl, let's see. Michigan. University of Tom Brady. Fantastic game. You beat Alabama. Alabama? Okay. Yeah. Whatever. I only had a good game. 109th over, 199th overall. We all know that story. We know the story. We know the story. It was 20 years ago today, though. That the football gods decided to send Mo Lewis in the direction of Drew Bledsoe mm. and out trotted number 12, the Tom Brady number 12 from the New England Patriots sideline, and the rest is history. And on this day, 20 years ago, legend was born, or at least let out of the bottle. And now, 20 years later, Tom Brady is still in the NFL as a 44-year-old defending Super Bowl champion looking for his eighth, getting set to hop on a plane to come here to Los Angeles with his tape measure to measure <laughs> the windows and the flooring and the drapes for this year's Super Bowl that goes on in the stadium where he will be taking on the Los Angeles Rams. A franchise that he then later on, 20 years ago today in that very season, went on and won his first Super Bowl against in New Orleans. Home of the Saints who are taking on his former team, the Patriots, this week. This is how it's all playing out as it is on and cracking for his former team with a kid that they've given Tom's college number and a kid that they truly believe and hope is going to just run the offense similar to Brady, looks like Brady, talks like Brady, has a combined body like Brady, comes out of college from a program that Brady beat in that Orange Bowl, right? Yep. Mac Jones taking on the New England Patriots for the New England Patriots taking on the New Orleans Saints this weekend and Tom Brady coming out here to take on the Rams two big games in week 3 of the 2021 season and the Rams hosting the Patriots is without a doubt your Sunday marquee contest in the late window, if not all the early and late windows. Obviously, Sunday night football has got a lot of interest with the Packers and the 49ers, but Brady coming to the spot where the Super Bowl took place or is taking place this year to take on a Rams team that wants to do what Brady did last year, which is win a Super Bowl in their home stadium, and everyone's talking about the possibility of doing that, and Brady's gunning for that Rams team. It is great. Mac Jones is trying to win this game for the Patriots to go above 500, 2 and 1. And yet, that is all not even top of mind in some people in New England right now. You're already seeing it bubbling beneath the surface, getting ready to erupt. We will be in full, full 
deep mode one week from today in this front. Brady's return to New England. Mm. You're seeing it already? Oh, it's already out there, man. You mentioned Thomas Sr. talking about it. Yeah, Tom Sr. on the radio with Tom Curran, and then uh, the Boston Herald today has some quotes from Alex Guerrero. His, uh, his trainer. His trainer, TB12 trainer. Who is, yeah. you know, I mean, guy's 44 years old. Chris Collinsworth, Chris Collinsworth says he can't tell the difference between 44-year-old, 24-year-old Brady. Got to give it up to the trainer who Belichick once sent across the street. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't, let all, him, wouldn't let him come the play. Dude, it's all coming out. It's all going to come out. Oh, yeah. It's already coming out. And both Belichick and Brady, Belichick will just be uh, uh, just being at, because normally you can go towards Bill with the days of your questions, and he'll just go on and on about Zeke Moat. And <laughs> he went nine minutes on about the long, a long snapper. snapper. Yeah. Yes, he'll give you a dissertation on long snapping. <laughs> you know? Zeke Moat. He will, yeah. <laughs> He'll go deep, deep dive Zeke Moat. I mean, do you want me to read this quote from Alex Guerrero? Please. Because I'm it, telling it's you, necessary. it's it's coming. I mean, I understand. And we will spend parts of today and obviously tomorrow. Rams, Bucks. Huge. Huge game. Huge. Big game. Huge. But Super it's Bowl. It's already I, 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 happening in New England. NBC. On Sunday night, I set the over/under on on previews and promos for the next Sunday game. <laughs> I will set it at five and a half and take the over. Oh, baby! Ooh. When you say over/under, Rich, I don't really understand. What this you I mean. can talk about. This I'm just talking about. Yeah, what are we talking about? Are you saying the more <laughs> and like the this pie can't thing? Be a prop <laughs> bet. The, the <laughs> arrow goes this way. If this was a about? Super Bowl, there'd be a prop <laughs> bet for it. I can't imagine there's a regular season week four prop bet on something like on a this. Promo? Anyway. No, no, no. I think degenerates would bet on anything, though, Rich. So there, it's it, true. It, it might well, I'll be take out. that. I'll, I'll, I'll get <laughs> what? All right, Alex Guerrero <laughs> to the Boston Herald Wednesday. I think Bill, his emotions or feelings never evolved with age. As Tom got into his late 30s or early 40s, I think Bill was still trying to treat him like that 20-year-old kid he drafted. And all the players, I think, realized Tom was different. He's older, so he should be treated differently. All the players, none of them would have cared that he was treated differently. I think that was such a Bill thing. He never evolved. You can't treat someone who's in his 40s like they're 20, it doesn't work. Well, if he's going to <laughs> allow Brady to take time off from practice or give Brady more say in the offense or talk to Brady, even if he probably never did, about the roster, that's one thing. About saying, yeah, we're going to let you in our building and there'll be a, a shadow training staff for Tom and the other guys who he's telling, hey, do stuff like me, and then a, a, a regular training staff for the other 44. I think that's a heavy lift for even Belichick, who I saw at one point say in front of me about treating star players differently right. and learning that from Parcells at the NFL 100 all-time team show where in front of Lawrence Taylor told the story that I've told here before and I'm going to tell again because it's germane to this. He told Bill Parcells when he was the defensive coordinator of the Giants, once upon a time, hey, Bill, Lawrence Taylor was late for the meeting today, and Parcells' response was, why'd you start it without him? <laughs> so Belichick knows star players to get different treatment and should. This one might be a heavy lift on the TB12 system and everything like that. For the Bucs, it's just like, you want Tom, you want to sign on the dotted line? Yeah, we'll figure it out. You want Gronk back? Cool. And Arians is just as old school as Belichick. He's yeah, got a lot of like that old the, school in the him. Same age almost. Different scenarios. And another thing too is I remember Roethlisberger under Cower was like that game manager. Don't screw it up, Ben. Mm -hmm. And then when Tomlin comes in, it's like I'm the veteran that just took you to the Super Bowl. Yeah. It's different when your coach drafts you. This is just from the outside looking in. As you know, I am all for coaches treating certain players differently and should. 
And if Belichick in any way, shape, or form chased Brady out, well, that's part of the reason why Brady wants to keep playing, I think. And that's coming next week, bro. Yeah. That is coming next week, and you won't hear a boo or a peep out of Bill. I don't think. Although I would love for Bill to just roll his sleeves up and just get in this mosh pit. And say what, though? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Ask Seth Wickersham. I mean, his book's coming out. There's got to be something. There's got to be two, what three, four. Bill to have to, I know we got to get to Kyle, but what would Bill have to say to make everyone just lose their minds? Like, yeah, I wanted Tom gone. I thought he wasn't playing yeah, as high. And he forced me to trade Garoppolo for a two because he went to craft. So he just spills all family Every secrets? Every last bean. <laughs> That's for the book, people. You got to oh wait. My gosh, that Every be, last bean. That would be incredible. But guess what? Even if that is what it is, which I have no idea what it is, and that's always been the rumor is what it was. Right. He was right. Get rid of Garoppolo. Stick with Brady in the same way that the Packers should just say to Hi, yeah, yeah, to Jordan Love. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's obvious you're still at a plane at an insanely high level. Yeah, they won three more. Why are we turning away from you? Just because in past times, 40-year-olds begin to diminish returns? I get I guess we should have Alex Guerrero have his own office down here, you know? Uh, it would be great. Just give everyone sodium pentothal next week, and I'm telling everybody, I know it's week three, and we're going to hit week three like it's crazy, like it's Lucille's <laughs> turn as we got Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I and mean, we're going to hit that with that barbed wire bat. But I'm telling you, it's coming. It's going to be deep next week. I'm front-loading it for you right now because it's already coming out in New England. Oh, baby. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.